Just as 4K TVs are beginning to hit the market, a higher resolution and controversial choice of TV is also getting a release date. The TVs in question are 8K TVs, that is, TVs with four times the resolution of a 4K TV. But are these TVs actually worth getting? And is there any difference between a 4K TV and an 8K TV? We'll get to these questions soon, but first, who's making these TVs? And when are they going to be released? The Japanese government recently made an announcement stating that the 2020 Olympics will be shot in both 4K and 8K for the first ever time live. Japan has committed to this announcement and it is capable of pulling it off. For the first ever time in June of this year, they broadcasted the first ever test footage of 4K TV. The announcement comes at a time when a Japanese company called NHK is committed to producing some of the first ever 8K televisions in time for the 2020 Olympics. On top of the announcement from Japan, several companies worldwide have begun test trialing 8K TVs to the public. The TVs are described as lifelike, crisp and clear from several different sources. TVs as large as 98 inches are being developed by companies like LG. LG has stated that it would like to produce these TVs to the public and sell them once 4K TVs and OLED TVs go down in price and affordability. However, is there any difference between a 4K TV and an 8K TV? Many of those who have seen 8K television find it hard to tell any difference between the two. This is because the picture quality of a 4K TV is already so fine that any improvements are very hard to tell. Many, but not all, can see an improvement in 4K resolution, but there are many factors that determine the quality of a TV. One of the biggest factors is screen size. To see the quality of an 8K TV properly, you're going to need a TV that is at least 80 inches big. But these kind of TVs are uncommon, expensive, and by some people considered too large. The other factor is cost. Many of these TVs when initially released will cost tens of thousands of dollars and will be pretty much unobtainable for anyone who doesn't want to take out a small loan. With that being said, the quality of an 8K television compared to a 4K television does become obvious if you are sitting far enough away and the screen size is large enough. Buying a TV that's at least 100 inches would make the quality difference very noticeable between 8K and 4K. However, TVs of this size won't be common and affordable for at least another 10 years. So is 8K coming? Yes. But will it be worth getting? Maybe not for another 10 years or so. So what do you think of 8K television? Is it worth getting? And would you consider buying a TV? Leave a comment below with your thoughts.